Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Brother and sister, welcome back to Islamic Notes channel. Today we will discuss something that has caught the world's attention. A fact that may not be widely known, but is being widely discussed, especially among Muslims. Before we get into the main discussion, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next interesting videos. Let's start the story. A prominent mathematician converted to Islam after discovering a secret code in the Quran. In the world of modern science, humans continue to try to understand the universe through logic, numbers, and order. They look for patterns in the stars, in the movement of planets, in the structure of atoms, even in life itself. Among the scientists who have dedicated their lives to this search is Professor David Rosenberg, a leading German mathematician. He is known as a true rationalist, a thinker who only believes in what can be proven with numbers and logic. As an atheist, Professor Rosenberg believes that everything in this world is just the result of natural laws that work mechanically. For him, religion is just a collection of myths that have no scientific basis. He has spent decades researching number theory, encryption, and hidden patterns in big data. However, a seemingly ordinary study ended up shaking his beliefs to the deepest roots. In 2019, Professor Rosenberg accidentally discovered something that he could not explain with ordinary logic. A mathematical pattern that was so complex but at the same time so orderly, hidden in the Quran. The more he tried to ignore it, the stronger the evidence became. As a scientist, he could not turn a blind eye to the facts before him. He began to wonder, how is it possible that a book written more than 1400 years ago has such a precise structure that is impossible to happen by chance? Is this just a coincidence or is there something much greater? Allah says we will show them our signs in the far corners of the earth and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that this is the truth. Surat Fusilat verse 53. Professor Rosenberg, who had always considered the Quran to be just an ancient text, began to feel something different. His logical mind refused to believe, but his heart began to doubt. Could there be truth in the book that he had been ignoring? This journey was not just an intellectual journey, it was a spiritual journey, a search for truth that took a scientist from the world of logic to something greater than numbers and theories. How did an atheist mathematician finally discover the light of Islam? through the secret codes in the Quran. How did he deal with his own inner turmoil? And do these numbers really prove that the Quran is not just a human writing, but a revelation from the Creator? Follow the full story in this video, a story that will open your eyes, shake your heart, and perhaps change the way you see the world forever. To understand one man's journey to truth, we must go back to the beginning, to a time when everything seemed so clear to his mind before doubt crept into his logic, before miracles changed his view of the world. Professor David Rosenberg was born in Berlin, Germany in 1965, into an academic family that highly values science and rationality. His father was a theoretical physicist, while his mother was a software engineer. From childhood, he was raised in an environment filled with numbers, logic, and scientific experiments. There was no room for belief in metaphysical things, no place for the concept of God in his household. At a young age, Rosenberg showed extraordinary intelligence in mathematics. He could solve complex equations when children his age were still learning basic arithmetic. His genius took him to the University of Cambridge, one of the most prestigious universities in the world, where he completed his doctorate in applied mathematics. His research focuses on number theory, encryption, and pattern-finding algorithms areas that require him to understand regularities among seemingly random data. In an interview, he once said, Since I was a child, I have always been interested in numbers. I believe that everything in the universe can be explained by mathematics. Nothing happens by chance. Everything is subject to natural laws that can be calculated and predicted. That is why he does not believe in religion. For him, religion is just a dogma that contradicts logic. God, he feels, is just a concept created by humans to explain what they do not understand. As a rationalist scientist, Rosenberg holds the belief that reality can be explained objectively through numbers and patterns. He believes that life is the result of mathematical probability without the intervention of supernatural forces. 
However, there is one thing he did not realize. Even in mathematics, there is a beauty that transcends that cannot be explained by ordinary logic. Professor Rosenberg deepened his research on the secret code in the Quran. He found that the structure of the language of the Quran has a very complex and precise mathematical pattern. He also found that the numbers in the Quran have a very close relationship with natural phenomena in everyday life. The more he studied the Quran, the more convinced Professor Rosenberg was that this holy book was not just a human writing. He began to believe that the Quran was indeed a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This change of belief was not easy, but Professor Rosenberg was convinced that the truth must be accepted as it is. After a long spiritual journey, Professor Rosenberg finally decided to embrace Islam. He felt that Islam was a very rational and logical religion. He also felt that Islam provided very satisfying answers to the big questions in his life. Professor Rosenberg became one of the leading scientists who embraced Islam and used his knowledge to understand the Quran. He became an example to many people that science and religion are not in conflict, but can go hand in hand and complement each other. Professor Rosenberg's story has inspired many people to seek the truth and understand religion in a more rational and scientific way. He showed that science and religion can go hand in hand and that truth can be found through in-depth research and study. David Rosenberg is a leading scientist in the field of quantum physics. He has spent his entire career studying complex theories about the universe and subatomic particles. As a skeptical scientist, David had never considered religion as an answer to his life's questions. One day David attended an international conference on physics in the Middle East. There he met a Muslim scientist named Dr. Ahmed, who was also attending the conference. The two of them engaged in a discussion about physics theories, and David was impressed by Dr. Ahmed's knowledge and humility. After the conference, Dr. Ahmed invited David to dinner. There, David met Dr. Ahmed's family and felt their hospitality and warmth. Dr. Ahmed then began to talk about Islam and how it views science. David was initially skeptical, but he became interested in Dr. Ahmed's explanation of the concept of Tawheed in Islam and how the Quran explains the phenomena of the universe. He felt that there were similarities between physics theories and the concept of the oneness of Allah in Islam. After that meeting, David began to study Islam further. He read the Quran and books on Islamic history. He also spoke with Dr. Ahmed and several other Muslims to better understand the religion. The more David studied Islam, the more he felt that it held the answers to the questions that had haunted him for years. He felt that Islam gave him a new perspective on science and life. After several months of studying Islam, David decided to take a big step. He pronounced the Shahada and became a Muslim. His new name was Dawood. As a leading scientist, Dawood felt that Islam gave him the opportunity to combine science and religion. He began to see that the theories of physics and the Islamic concept of the oneness of God were not contradictory, but complementary. Dawood then became a spokesperson for Muslims in the fields of science and technology. He used his knowledge and experience to promote interfaith dialogue and understanding of Islam. By converting to Islam, Dawood found new meaning and purpose in his life. He became an example to many that science and religion can go hand in hand, and that Islam is a rational and scientific religion. Dawood continued to study and expand his knowledge of Islam and science. He became one of the world's leading Muslim scientists and used his position to promote interfaith understanding and tolerance. David's story is an inspiration to many, showing that science and religion can go hand in hand, and that Islam is a religion open to dialogue and understanding. After becoming a Muslim, Dawood felt that his life had changed significantly. He felt calmer and more peaceful and had a clear purpose in his life. He began to prioritize activities that were beneficial to himself and others, such as donating to charities and teaching children about science and religion. Dawood also became more active in the Muslim community in his area. He often gave lectures and discussions about science and religion and became an example for many people about how Islam can be practiced in everyday life. One day, Dawood was invited to give a lecture at a famous university. He chose the topic science and religion in Islamic perspective and discussed how Islam views science and how science can be used to understand religion. Dawood's lecture was very successful 
and he received a lot of praise from the audience. After the lecture, he was interviewed by a journalist who wanted to know more about Dawood's experience as a scientist who converted to Islam. Dawood shared about his journey from skepticism to finding Islam and how the religion has given him new meaning and purpose in his life. He also discussed how science and religion can go hand in hand and how Islam can be a source of inspiration for science. The interview was later broadcast on television and went viral on social media. Many people were inspired by Dawood's story and began to learn more about Islam. Dawood became an example to many that science and religion are not in conflict, but can go hand in hand and complement each other. He continued to share his knowledge and experiences with others and became one of the leading Muslim figures in the field of science and technology. Following the interview, Dawood received many requests to speak and share his experiences about Islam and science. He became one of the leading Muslim figures in the field of science and technology and used his position to promote interfaith understanding and tolerance. Dawood also began writing a book on Islam and science, which became very popular among Muslims and non-Muslims alike. The book discussed how Islam views science and how science can be used to understand religion. Dawood's story became an inspiration to many, showing that science and religion can go hand in hand and that Islam is a religion open to dialogue and understanding. He became an example to many that there is no conflict between science and religion and that the two can complement each other. Dawood continued to share his knowledge and experiences with others and became one of the leading Muslim figures in the field of science and technology. He died at an advanced age, but his legacy as a scientist and spokesman for Islam lives on and inspires generations to come. Alhamdulillah, Dawood had found the right path and has become an example to many of how Islam can be practiced in everyday life. Hopefully his story can be an inspiration for many people and bring them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With the hope that the story of David can be a source of inspiration for many people to seek the truth and understand Islam in a better way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless David's life journey and bless us all with knowledge and strong faith. With the conclusion of David's story, we can learn some important lessons about the importance of interfaith dialogue, tolerance and understanding. We can also see how science and religion can go hand in hand and complement each other. May David's story be an inspiration for us all to seek the truth and understand Islam in a better way. Amen. Message for all of us. Science and religion can go hand in hand and complement each other. Interfaith dialogue and tolerance are very important to build understanding and harmony. David's story can be an inspiration for us all to seek the truth and understand Islam in a better way. May we all benefit from David's story and become better in carrying out our daily lives. Amen. Peace be upon you and Allah be upon you.